Behold the crawling world, a thickly huddled mass, dark-hued, folded in on itself a thousand, nay, ten thousand times over. From your vantage point beyond the veil, you can dimly make out vast oceans, a tumult of mountains, honeycomb riddled with caves, extending, you suppose, down into the fused depths. But so much of it is dark, grey, devoid of movement. No, wait, there are points of light. Few and far between, but visible now, studying the leaden earth. All you can make out beyond this loathsome immensity is the blinding light of the pleroma above, from which falls, nowadays very seldom, additional points of light. Do not look directly now, lest you be blinded by its brilliance, but see... The veil parts, and we drop down, faster than one can fathom to the caverns below, layers too numerous to count in one lifetime, ingrown, tumorous, teeming with life of a sort. Up. From the clay they rise, spontaneously generated by the mysterious will of beings above, and, reaching their twisted limbs, heads uplifted to the mad god and its feckless progeny, power, magic, pneuma falls from the light of the god realm, the pleroma, onto the heads and hearts of the blessed and rises up from the murky depths of this darkling plain, and, like vents of boiling water issue from the depths of the ocean floor in your world, so do jets of pneuma rise from the deepest parts of the crawling world. And, as you may imagine, life, writhing, wriggling, striving life, congregates around these sites of power, but drawn by the scent of Numa, other beings find their way to these fledgling communities. Predators.